today we are going to be taking a gentle, slow flow, and we're going to start in Shavasana. So laying down on our mats, allow the feet to fall open, palms up to the sky. Take a few rounds of breath to arrive and ground. Maybe notice all of the points of your body that are connected to your mat. Taking yourself through a scan, starting from the toes, working your way up to the crown of the head. If there's any areas that need extra attention or areas that you need to be backed off from, our first pose, banana asana. So bringing both of the feet towards the right corner of the mat, cross the left foot over the right, and then reach the arms overhead, grabbing onto your left wrist, pull it over to the right corner. So you're making this banana or crescent moon shape. Breathing through the left side of your body, One more round of breath on this first side. And then bringing the feet to the left corner, cross the right ankle over left, switch the grip of your wrist. So grabbing onto your right wrist and then pull it over towards the left. So the hips are staying in the center of your mat, only the feet and then the arms are pulling to the side, making our banana shape breathing through the right side body. Finding one more round of breath. And bringing it back through center, pull the knees into the chest. Begin to circle out the knees, moving a couple times in one direction, and then reversing the direction. And then finding a nice rock and roll up and down the spine, maybe coming all the way up to seated, going all the way back towards plow. And then we'll meet in a tabletop pose. So coming over the shins, bringing the shoulders over our wrist, hips over the knees. On your inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart through, lift your gaze for cow. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, arch the back, chin to chest breath. Hold it in cat for a round of breath. Maybe shake out the head, really round through your shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart through, lift up for cow, hold it here. Really allow the belly to sink down. Rounding through the tailbone, shoulders, chin to chest. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. And then continue with cat cow or find dancing lions. So any sort of movement that feels good in the body, you might find large barrel rolls, bringing the hips into circles, flowing in both directions. Maybe take figure eights, send the hips side to side, forward and back. Moving with your breath. You might close your eyes here. Just notice how it feels. Don't worry what it looks like, making this your own practice. Taking one more round of breath, and then meeting at a neutral tabletop. We'll flip our palms so that the fingertips face our knees, working to stretch out our forearms. 
You can do this one hand at a time um, if you want a little bit less pressure. And then just making sure to switch to the other side when it feels good for you. And then meeting with our hands back facing forward. Take a round of breath through sets. And then we'll flip our palms so that the backs of the hands meet the mat. Fingertips again are facing the knees. Option to do one hand at a time. This one can be a little more intense. Just breathe through it. Such a great stretch for the wrist. And then release. We'll tuck our toes and walk the hips to rest onto our heels, sitting up nice and tall. Maybe roll out the shoulders a few times. Stretching out the necks of our toes, drop the head from side to side, open up through the neck. Maybe if it feels okay, you can send the head back, open up through the throat. And bring the head back to a neutral space. We'll lean forward so that we can untuck our toes, bring the hips back onto the heels, and then start to walk the hands behind you. You can stay here, maybe lift up through the knees, stretching out the ankles and the tops of the feet. Releasing back down, we'll come into our tabletop pose. On your inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Send your gaze to follow. Exhale, thread the needle, but we'll keep it lifted as we find a flow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread. One more inhale. Exhale, thread. This time to lower all the way down onto your right shoulder and temple. And then reaching your left arm towards the top of the mat. Option to sweep the arm behind the back for a low half bind, reaching the hand towards your right thigh. Listening to your breath. If you had that bind, bring that left arm back out in front of you. Pull the hand underneath the shoulder. Inhale, release right arm up to the sky. Grounding it down to the mat, we'll inhale, left arm up, binding our flow. Exhale, thread the needle, keep it lifted. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, thread the needle, lower all the way down onto your shoulder, reach right arm to the top of the mat, or finding that bind behind the low back, fingertips reaching for the left thigh. And one more round of breath. Releasing right arm to the top of the mat. Bring it under the shoulder. Inhale, reach left arm up to the sky. And exhale to plant. Keep the hips over the knees as we begin to walk the hands out in front of us. Melt the heart down to the mat for puppy pose. Maybe your forehead will rest or tuck the chin if it feels okay on your neck. Opening up through our shoulders, finding a gentle back bend. And then from our puppy pose, shift forward into Sphinx. Grounding through the forearms, lower the hips down. Shoulders are over the elbows. Actively lift up through the crown of your head. Allow the chest to fall down. Hands come under the shoulders. 
Inhale, lift up for a baby cobra. Be very light in the hands. Maybe hover them off of the mat. Allow the work to come through the back. Pressing the toes down onto the mat. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. This time you can put a little weight in the hands. Maybe lift the chest a little bit higher. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Maybe lift up to seal pose as we straighten out through the arms. Lift your gaze and then send the hips back into child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat. Big toes touch. Hips rest over the heels. Arms reach out long in front of you. On your next inhale, rising up through tabletop, we'll tuck our toes, lift the hips up and back down dog. You get to walk out your dog, finding movement that is nice in the back of the legs, pulling the heart towards the chest. And then we'll tiptoe our feet to the top of the mat, leaning in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Generous bend in the knees. And then maybe wrap the arms behind the legs, reaching for opposite elbows. Release the hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Bring the feet a little bit wider than hips width distance apart. Left hand grounds, bend through your left leg and inhale your right arm up. Release your right hand down, bend through the right leg, inhale left arm up. Release left hand down, heel to the feet a little bit wider, heels in, toes out and then lower the hips down for Malasana Yogi Squat. Hands come to the hearts. Use the elbows on the inner thighs to help open the hips even more. Chest is lifted. Release your hands down to the mat. Lift up through the hips. Heel toe the feet so that they're hips width distance apart. On your inhale, slowly roll up through the spine. Maybe find a little bounce. Sweeping the arms up overhead as you arrive, palms connect. Exhale, slowly forward fold all the way back down. Inhale, roll up through the spine. Shoulders, neck, head are last to arrive. Then sweep the arms up, palms connect. Exhale, forward fold. We'll take one more just like that, moving at your own pace. You look like you're a zombie. And then coming back to life, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Step back to a plank pose. Option to lower your knees here. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. We'll extend our left arm out to the side. Right hand underneath the shoulder. Gently begin to roll onto that left shoulder, stepping right foot behind you. back through center. This time extend your right arm long, left hand under the shoulder, and then gently roll over. Left foot steps behind you. Bring your back through center. 
bring both hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale for Cobra. Exhale to Child Pose. Rising up from our Child Pose, coming into Tabletop, and then walking the hands up, stacking the shoulders over our hips. We'll extend our left leg out to the side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, left hand down towards the left shin. Reach right arm up and over for gay pose. If it feels nice, you can send your gaze up to your right hand. Otherwise, send it down to your left toes. Inhale to reach both arms up. Exhale, right hand plant. Stretch all the way from left toes to left fingertips making one long line of energy. Keep your left foot on the mat or option to lift it. Send left arm up to the sky. If you'd like to take a supported Chapasana, we'll bend through the left leg and reach for the foot. Actively kick the foot into the hands. Gaze is down towards your right thumb. Release the foot if you have it. Grounding through that left foot. Inhale, both arms up. And then exhale, bring it back through center, hands to the heart. Extend your right leg out to the side. Inhale, sweep arms up. Exhale, right hand to right chin. Reach that left arm up and over. Notice where you feel this stretch in your body. Gaze is up towards the left hand or down towards the right toes. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, ground through your left hand, reach through your right, stretching from right toes to fingertips. One long line of energy here. Holding just as you are or reach your right arm to the sky as you hover your right leg. If you want to take that supported Chapasana on this side, you'll bend through the right knee and reach around to grab hold for the foot. Gently release the foot if you have it. Ground it through your right foot. Inhale, sweep left arm up. Exhale, back through center. Beautiful. Releasing down into your tabletop, taking a few rounds of cat-cow to reset. Inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart through. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, arch the back, chin to chest. Two more with your own breath. You can always take Dancing Lion again. That feels better for you. On your tabletop pose, we'll go ahead and sweep the legs out in front of us. Reaching the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, forward fold. It's okay if you round through the back. You can make this active by reaching for the feet or more relaxed, just let the arms rest down by your side. Slowly roll up through the spine. And then we'll open up into a straddle stretch. So bringing the feet to the long edges of your mat. On your inhale, reach the arms up. We're first gonna take it to the right side. So rotate the torso towards the right foot. And when you're ready, go ahead and fold down. Inhale, reach the arms up, come back through center, rotate the torso to the left, exhale to fold. Good 
Inhale, bring the heel up through center. This time, exhale, fold all the way down through the center. If you want to walk your hands out, maybe lower down onto the forearms. If it's in your practice, you can lay down towards your chest. When you're ready, begin to lift back up, walking the chest over the hips, and then sweeping both legs back towards the top of the mat. We'll bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, slowly roll down the back. We'll take three floating bridges. So heels in towards your glutes, arms down by your side. On your inhale, lift up through the hips and sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the arms back, lower the hips. Two more, inhale to lift. Exhale, lower, rolling the back down from top to bottom. One more, inhale. This time we'll pause, keep the arms overhead. Lift the hips a little bit higher, actively press through the soles of your feet. Maybe lift up to your tippy toes this time. One more inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms back, roll the back down from top to bottom. Pause here. Allow your body to process those back bends. And we'll extend our left leg long. Pull the right knee into our chest. When we're leaving pose, pull it up and over. Pull it into the chest even more on your inhale. And on your exhale, supine twist. Cross the leg over your body. You might want to adjust your hips so that hips are stacked over each other, they're in line. With the shoulders, you have a nice straight spine. If it feels okay, you can turn your head towards the right, twisting through the neck. And then check that both of your shoulders are connected to your mat. This way you know you're actually twisting. Sometimes if your shoulder is lifted, that right shoulder, you're more so just rolling over. So reconnect that right shoulder, even if it means that you're not twisting as much. You just don't want to be rolling over. Coming back through center. Release the right leg long. Inhale, left knee up into the chest. Okay, pull it over towards the underarm. Inhale, pull it closer. Exhale, supine twist over towards the right. Adjust your hips. You can cactus that left arm. Gaze towards the left. If your neck allows it to. Check that your shoulders are connected. Allow yourself to deepen into the twist with every round of breath. Find areas where you can soften. Taking it back through center. Realigning the hips to the center of your mat. Pull the knees into your chest. Send the soles of feet up to the sky for happy baby pose. Holding where it feels nice for you. So maybe by your ankles, pinch the edges of your feet. You can use your peace fingers. Flip onto the big toes. Rock from side to side. Massage out your back. Maybe lengthen through your right leg. Bring it back in, switch over to the left leg. 
and you work to stretch both. And then finding legs up the wall, sleepy lion. We'll extend both legs up. You can reach the arms up, roll out the ankles, roll out the wrist, moving in both directions. Maybe stretching through the fingers, pulling them in to make fists. And finding Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of feet together, knees fall open wide. We might place the hands on top of the hips. Reconnecting with your breath. Two rounds of breath, just as you are. Extending the feet long to the top of the mat. Coming into Shavasana. And then staying here for as long as your day allows you to. 